and welcome to Kids Corner on Armstrong Channel 20. I'm Miss Krista and I'm so excited today to be at Poland Dobbins Elementary School with Mrs. Akins and Mrs. James' first grade classes. Have you ever read a book like If You Give a Pig a Pancake, If You Give a Moose a Muffin, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie? Well, I'm sure it's one of your favorites, that series, and it's one of mine. So today we're going to read by Laura Numeroff, If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. And in this book, Mouse does something. He makes a special craft. We're going to make that same craft. We're going to make tree ornaments using coffee filters, string, ribbon, and bells. I hope that you love our book and our craft. And if you would like me to come to your school, have a grown-up email us at channel 20, that's channel 20 at A-G-O-C dot com. I think I hear our friends coming now. Let's get ready. I am. Who knows? I okay. Who am I? My mom. Yeah, I'm your mom. <laughs> Miss Krista. I'm Miss Krista, and I work for. Did it fall? Oh, oh, oh! Wait, that's a secret. That's a secret. That's gotta stand on my bum for a second. I work for Armstrong, and guess what I get to do during the school year? I get to come to all different, I get to go to all different schools and all different classrooms and I get to read books and do crafts which is pretty cool because it's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> yes. Who loves to read? <laughs> Raise those hands. Okay, sit back, sit back. Oh, you like to read? You, are you learning? Did you have a spelling test today? Yeah. How, how do you, how do you spell the word puff? How do you spell the word around? That was, wait, did you already have the test? Because if that was a spoiler alert, otherwise we just gave away two answers. Good job. So I know that a lot of you, are you reading your 20 minutes at home every night? I know you are. Huh? You are some of you are. Good, good, good. Because the weather, is the weather getting cold right now? So we have a lot of chance to stay inside, and when we stay inside, should we watch more TV? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well you know what, you should watch a little bit more because it keeps Miss Krista in a job, but you should also do something else that's gonna, that you can, once you learn it, it's like riding a bicycle, you'll know it forever. What else should you do? Um, play Xbox. Play Xbox? Okay. <laughs> not, not necessarily the educational answer I was going for. What should you do? Play the stuffed animals. Play with stuffed animals, okay. You should probably play with creative plays. Very good. What should you do? Have a snowball fight. What do you think? I do art. You do art? Good. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Reading. Reading. What do you do? Gymnastics. Gymnastics. But you know what? Someone said something very important. Who reads? Do you all read? You do? If you take a mouse to the movies, I borrowed this book kind of without asking from my kid's bookshelf. Uh, Sarah, can I borrow your book? No, she says it's okay. So we have If You Take a Mouse to the Movies by Laura Numeroff. Who has read this book? Who's read this book a thousand times? Oh, I love this book. This is one of my favorite books. So if you haven't read it, you're going to love it. If you've already read it, you're going to love hearing it again. And then we're going to do a special craft that I thought of last time I read this book at home. If You Take a Mouse to the Movies by Laura Numeroff. If You Take a Mouse to the Movies, he'll ask you for some popcorn. When you give him the popcorn, he'll want to string it all together. 
Then he'll want to hang it on a Christmas tree. <laughs> on the way home, he'll see a snowman in your neighbor's yard. He'll want to make one of his own. <laughs> Whose pet mouse makes snowmen in front of their yard? Really? <laughs> we have pet goldfish. I haven't taken them out of the bowl yet to see if they can make snowmen. Then he'll need a carrot for a nose. When, when he's all finished, he'll decide to build a fort. He'll ask you to help him. Is this, is this all stuff that you like to do? Who likes to do this kind of stuff? Then he'll want to make some snowballs and have a snowball fight. Playing outside will make him cold. He'll want to go inside and curl up on the couch. <laughs> that wasn't funny. He's sad and cold. Where's your sad face? <laughs> He'll ask you for a blanket. This is my favorite, by the way. This is my favorite page where he's warming up. Once he's nice and cozy, he'll want to listen to Christmas carols. Who listens to Christmas? Who listens to Christmas carols right now? Huh? They're on Mix 98.9 on the radio, huh? Every day right now. You'll have to find some on the radio. For us, he'd only have to turn on one station. He'll probably sing along. They are not undies, they're shorts. The carols will remind him of his Christmas tree, so he'll want to make ornaments. Have you ever made ornaments? Who's made Christmas ornaments? Or any kind of hangy thingy? Okay. He'll ask you for, oh, you'll get, get him some paper and glue, and he'll ask you for some glitter. <laughs> when the ornaments are done, hang them all up. Then he'll stand back to look at the tree. We made a pretty nice tree, huh? For a mouse. For a mouse? Yeah, it's a pretty nice tree for a mouse. He'll notice his popcorn string is missing. <laughs> so he'll want to make another one. He'll ask you for some popcorn, and chances are if you, when you give him the popcorn, he'll eat it. I'd eat it. He'll want you to take him to the movies. Bravo, well done. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was, I was reading this book with a, uh, a certain young lady one day at home. Her name begins with a Sarah. Um, and uh, there was a page that we happened upon and it was this page. And she says to me, there's a lot of ornaments for a mouse. How does a mouse make that many ornaments? And I said, I don't know, but then I thought, that's a fantastic idea. So that's what we're gonna do. You are going to make your own ornaments to take home. And you can give that you can hang them on your doorknob or on your wrist or on a tree or give them as a gift. It's got a little bell on it. So we are going to, with your teacher's permission only, we are going to get you set up at the tables because the first thing you need to do, do you know what I made these out of? Do you know what I made these out of? Paper, tissue paper. Tissue paper. What did I make them out of? Coffee streamers. Coffee filters. I made these out of coffee filters. Sorry, spoiler alert, somebody has an inside seat when I beta test these at home. So I made these out of coffee filters and that's what you're going to do, but the first thing you need to do is get your creative thinking skills all ready. Lots of different markers. The big fat markers have really thick ends on them, so that'll take up a big area. And the littler markers, of course, have little tips. 
so it'll take you a little longer, but that's okay. What you want to color is the, you flatten it out, you color the ruffly part, okay? You don't have to worry about coloring, coloring the middle part because that's all gonna get smushed together. You're not even going to see that part. So just concentrate on coloring the ruffly part. After you color it, we are going to wet it. And when we wet it, all the colors will bleed together and it'll look like tie-dye. And then when we're done with that, you'll put it all together as an ornament. You are going to make two of these coffee filters for one ornament. Right now you have one coffee filter. When you are done with that, you are going to get a second coffee filter and you're going to make a design on that as well. And then we'll put them together to make your ornament, okay? So get to it, get those creative juices flowing. Color, color, color. Once the kids are done coloring their pipe cleaners, or their, their coffee filters, Mrs. Aikens over there is putting them together into sort of like a flower shape. And then what I'm doing is putting a bell on the back so it'll jingle for them. And then I'm tying up the pipe cleaner and I'm putting a ribbon on it. Thank you very much, young man so that they can hang it on their doorknob, on a tree, wherever they like. And now pick a gem that you like, please. So once I put this on so that they can hang it, they are going to put a gem in the middle.
Evans Elementary School with Mrs. Akins. Thank you. And Mrs. James's first grade classes. And of course, we had Mrs. Baldwin and Miss Ines here today. We not only got to read one of my favorite books, If You Take a Mouse to the Movies by Laura Numeroff, but we got to make our very own ornaments, just like Mouse does in the book. And I'm so excited to be here because I get to visit my daughter, Sarah's class. And you can tell, just like her mother, she loves being in front of the camera. I hope that you love our book and our craft. And if you would like Armstrong to come to your school, have a grown-up email us at channel20, that's channel20 at agoc.com. This is Miss Christopher Kids Corner wishing you a great day. A great day.